All right, all right. Hello, hello. How are you guys doing? My name is Ramiro. This is Tessa, Tessa. and this is I. And today, I all give you. <laughs> I give you all hugs. He sends you guys all hugs. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you guys. I give you Whoa. all hugs. We're gonna show you guys how uh, to create a mural and how to paint a mural in your house. As you can see, we're sitting in front of this beautiful mural that the artist Grace Lang painted. And today we're going to show you a couple of different ways and a couple of different methods that you guys can create a mural in your home. And you will be artists. And you will all be artists. So if you want to. If you want to, of course. So, like I mentioned before, my name is Ramiro, and I was in Indiana earlier in March painting a mural for the Horace Mann Elementary School. The mural that I painted, which I'm going to show you how I did, uh, is based on a children's book that I created called Manimal Friends. Manimal Friends teaches kids the proper grouping names of animals through illustration. So, at the school, what I decided to paint was some local animals, and I painted a group of salamanders. And Ike, what is a group of salamanders called? A congress. And then I painted a group of bears. And what is a group of bears called, Tessa? A sleuth. A sleuth. So, those were the two ideas that I had, and now you're going to be able to see a quick little rendering and sketch of how I got the mural to the wall. So as you guys just saw, you saw uh, a quick little animation of the illustration that I did for the mural. Um, and there's always a couple of steps that you have to take first, from going all the way from the piece of paper all the way to the wall. So the first step is just to make sure that you sketch out a good idea on a piece of paper or on your computer. And why is that? It's because you really want to have the idea in your head of what you're going to paint. In addition, it also helps you think of all of the different colors that you are going to need for your said image or your said mural. Um, it, it will help you with a whole bunch of things. So those are the first steps. Always remember you need to have a good sketch and a good idea. And always have that piece of paper next to you when you're painting so that you can look at the piece of paper and then you can look at your wall and you can transfer your paper idea all the way to the wall. Alrighty, so in order for you to get your image onto the wall, there's a whole bunch of different ways and different steps that you can take. The first one that you can do, if we're lucky enough, you can project the image that you had, so the drawing that you had on a projector, you can project it to the wall. That's step number one, and that's one of the ways that you can do it. A different way is to make a grid. So you make a small little grid measured out, on the piece of paper where you have your illustration and then you transfer that grid onto the wall and you're going to see a couple of images of those kinds of grids. The third one, and this is the way that I do it, is to just do it freehand. Um, you can just go and you can go up to the wall and you can just start painting and as long as you're looking at your image and you have like I said that important sketch with you on your hand then you're going to be able to transfer that image all the way to the wall um, and the fourth one is the most important is to paint and what is the fifth one what do you guys think have fun oh <laughs> wow I, we have didn't even plan fun! that and they got it. Amazing. Give me five. Because that's always the rule. Yeah. It can be the fifth or the first. 
So when painting a mural, you can have all kinds of different surfaces to paint on. Since we have this beautiful mural right behind us, we don't really want to paint on that. And maybe some of you guys are at home and you can't really paint on the walls at your home. So the number one rule when we're painting murals is... Be creative! Be uh, creative. And on what you're using. Exactly, on all kinds of surfaces yeah. that we're using. Like this, can can paint this, on is a, this is a roll of paper. So we're going to be using a roll of paper that Tess is holding. And an old folded up tarp. tarp. So we're and also going to be tarp. able to show you guys how to paint on an old folded up tarp. And then over here, as you can see, it's just an old piece of wood. So if you're lucky enough, if you have the opportunity to either have wood delivered or you can buy wood or you have a roll of paper or an old folded up tarp, you can create a mural at your house. And now you're going to see how we set these yeah. things up for the but painting. If it's blue or something, it doesn't Go matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Go on if it's purple or pink or or yellow or blue or black or something. It doesn't matter. It yeah, doesn't matter. Go on. You you can you got it, Jerry. If you have more than that, if you have more than that, then you can be on awe. So, as you guys just saw, you can basically use so many different things to make a wall, either inside or outside of your house, to paint a mural in your home. You can use all kinds of materials like you guys just saw. You can use spray paint. You can use... House acrylic paint. Old house acrylic paint. Markers, crayons, anything that really is going to put a mark onto the wall, you can use it. And you can create your own mural. Yeah, yeah, you can like... You can... You use can, anything you want. You if if you have if you had spray paint, do it. If you have has acrylic paint, do it. If like if you have any other uh, kind of paint, do it. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope to see your videos of you guys painting at home, and thank you guys so much for helping me out on this amazing little video that we did for all the people all over the world. Thank you guys. Bye bye. bye. Stay healthy Stay and healthy. keep painting murals.